I think Love Bites has been a good program and like I said, it's fun, but it's also educating students um, on really hard subjects. And they, Love Bites is a program where it like makes it a bit easier and they break it up so you can understand and you're not just getting loaded with all this heavy information. And it, you can think about it at, like at home or later in the week or whatever. And you might not like connect to anything at the moment, but you might like be in a relationship in your 20s or something and you might remember, hey, that's not okay or and I need to stand up or something like that. And so I feel like it's a really good, I feel like for people our age to learn, but we might not need it at the moment, but I feel like we'll need it in these next years, year 11 and 12, and just becoming an adult because they're where things get rocky. <laughs> What would you do if that happened? Anyone? You could talk to someone. Yeah. Like, if your partner's threatening themselves, you could go and talk to someone about what they're doing because you're obviously feeling unsafe or something mm. in that type of relationship. And, and you've got the right to break up a relationship yeah. or not to be with that person, but yeah. if they're going to harm themselves, who could you go to and talk to them about? Yes. Yeah. So. Yeah. Any teachers in the school? Any teachers? Any teachers? Any teachers? Any teachers? What about outside in the community? Tell your parents. So, who'd like to share? What are some, what your ideal relationship look like? or sound like? Laughing and having fun together. Yep. Supportive. Supportive? Ooh, that's a good one. Loyal. Loyal. Ooh, that's a very good one. I came into like being like, yeah, it'll be cool and whatever, but I actually found it a lot more useful than I thought I would and I learnt a lot of things and I wish every single person was always taught these things. One thing that stands out to me with the Labites program is that they actually really do remember what we teach them here at school because I experienced all the, through um, participating in activities and through the artwork. And a little um, memory I have is one day I was at uh, South Headland here in Sortel. It was one afternoon after school and I was picking my children up who were actually being there for a swim. Pulled up my car and the kids were as they were coming up the beach to get into the car. I looked across and there was a car, a blue car, and this would have been 10 years ago, mind you, and in that car were two boys in the front who I did not know and two girls in the back who I did know. They were members of Tamina High School in year 10. And they must have, I don't have a very good poker face, and they must have seen the look on my face and they've wound their window down and they've yelled out the window, it's okay Mrs Gillingham, we've done love bots. And I just thought, oh. I just, my face must have just relaxed and done the smile and the thumbs up. And I was able to drive home that night then, knowing that those kids knew what to do in case they were in a situation that um, might have been putting them at risk in, in some way. Still deciding <laughs> too much or not enough. <laughs> in a classroom, you're very judged about what you want to say, but with this group, there's people that want to be here. They're going to listen to what you're saying and, like, go with it and add on to it. Feeling their tummy that something's not quite right. Does anyone have that? Yeah. yeah. It's a funny feeling. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's your, listen to your body. Listen to your body. You, say, you get that feeling. That's a little sign for you to say, hey, just have a look around. Just what's going on? Because something may not be quite right. Question that feeling and understand it. Trust it. I often used to walk away from the schools and say, look, they don't have to remember everything that we talked about today, but if they go home with one thing, if they understand what consent is, if they understand what a respectful relationship, what crosses the line for them in a domestic and family violence situation or a sexual violence situation, then I feel like our work's done. I feel like we've had a good day at work. Um, so 
uh, hats off to the Coffs Harbour community for really getting behind prevention initiatives such as this. I think it's a, it's a great thing. I found it was a really good way to express, um, a positive way to express what we were talking about because it is such deep stuff that it's really, sometimes it's really hurtful and can make you kind of feel a bit down learning about like some of the things that happen to people. But the artwork was a really positive way to express uh, ourselves and how we thought about it and they're actually really good artworks.